Okay, so hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another week. If you haven't already looked through the channel, give a look back on some of our other videos. We cover an awful, awful range of stuff and um, you might find something of interest uh, once you've finished watching this one, of course. So basically today I'm just doing a bit of hedge cutting here now, but uh, I've only a very, very small bit to do. I'm actually trying to get this bit done before uh, the sun comes up too much and is blinding me because uh, I've left this one for a bit mainly because of that reason the sun has been blinding me every evening when I've got uh, a chance to do it so I'm here in the morning doing it um, our day isn't going to entail hedge cutting we're going to be back in the workshop we're going to be back at the Dowdswell Power Arrow and uh, doing a bit more rebuilding of that so yeah once we're back in there we'll give you an update I'm going to do a bit of fooling around with the camera settings because I know it gets quite uh, flickery, the, the camera footage, so I'm going to try and see can I do something with that and we'll talk to you about that when we're there. Okay, so I fooled around with some settings on the camera and it seems to be a bit better now. It's just to remember that the camera doesn't keep your settings, it does go back to its factory settings now and again, so I have to keep an eye on that. But um, so far, it seems so good, not as near as much flickering. Right, so before we left, we had all of these bolted down. You've seen all of that. Um, and while it was away, we were thinking about it. And I had went for the spring washer option because more or less, to be honest with you, it was an awful lot cheaper. Use spring washers uh, on all of these. But uh, here is what happened to spring washers. They all start to go in like that. Well, not all of them, but a few of them did and I wasn't happy with it this one had cracked so just not the job so we swapped them all out and we put on Nordlock washers this is a Nordlock washer when it's sitting there it's like that uh, but it comes it is in two parts and you do need the two parts to be together basically they have little ridges on them both sides so they kind of grip into the surface and they grip into your bolt but uh, what this side does is they interlock there so to actually loosen it's going to have to turn that way and it actually has to swell so I watched uh, kind of people with uh, talking these and with um, sensors on their talk spanners and that and you actually need We'll say if that's, for instance, if that's squeezed to 200 newton meters, you actually need more than, it actually has to get tighter to loosen, if that makes any sense. So, uh, they are a brilliant job, uh, but they are expensive. It, it was working out at maybe 120, 130 for every one of them. And we had a lot of them to put on, so that's why I went for the spring washer option first, but it just wasn't the job. So we're ready to start putting our gears back in now and put our rotors in and that's what we're going to do next. Okay, so we got our gears stuck back in but we have a chip tooth, a fracture tooth in one of them. So I'm just going to wait and get a gear and uh, no point uh, putting it back just because we're uh, discarding it now. Um, but I've loads more to do, I've more to clean down and get ready and uh, paint and stuff like that. So. Uh, unfortunately now until we get a gear that's it for uh, this side of it but um, I'm gonna start cleaning now bars and stuff like that real nitty-gritty kind of stuff getting them ready for paint uh, start bolting them back on and uh, it'll be more the frame back on it also much to tack our scrapers because we're gonna make up our own scraper bars for them um, there was bits welded onto these over the years just to get us out of trouble out of a hole but uh, they're all bent and twisted and everything so We'll, uh, we're going to make up our own set for the whole lot of it. So I'm going to get to cleaning and uh, I'll show you a bit of that kind of. Okay, so I didn't get quite as far as uh, painting, but I should be... Uh, it won't take me long in the morning. Um, actually, why I'm stopped up is my battery charger stopped working. So the Milwaukee charger stopped working. Uh, they're all cleaned. These are cleaned. This guy is cleaned. Uh, he's properly cleaned he's cleaned and good few of them were cut up and um, because we're going to do our own scrapers uh, these guys are cleaned and them bars must be cleaned and also there's a set of them standing up over there and then few various bits inside there so uh, if I got them cleaned even um, I could just go painting all of them bits might start hanging a bit of it up because um, 
you know, you don't want it lying flat, you want to paint the underneath of some of that stuff as well. So MIG wire is very handy for holding all that, that kind of stuff up uh, when you're painting it. So tomorrow that will be the project. Uh, pity about the battery charger, but ah, it's late in the evening now anyway. It's nearly time to be wrapping it up. So uh, I really want to push on with this and I really want to make a bit of progress because uh, the year is really slipping away me and there's more and more jobs mounting up to do all the time, uh, which there is one of them over here. So that's been turned into a low loader. That is, uh, ah, that'll be an ongoing project. That's something we'll show you a bit of once this is out the door. I'll be able to fit something else in or shove that backwards or fit the tractor in and start that a tractor because I really need to start running through our tractors. Um, the three CVXs or the three styres, uh, the two CVXs and the TVT, they all need a good service. The TM needs a run through. And the 6480 is good, that's been fully, fully gone through before it came here, so that doesn't need anything done to it. Uh, and the Volvo also needs a run through, so an awful lot to get done uh, in the next few months. Uh, it'd be okay if we could stay here all day, but I have to run away and do other various bits and pieces during the day as well, so... Uh, time is definitely a bit of an issue at the moment but uh, anyway we will persevere and stay going like i say it's a pity my battery charger packed up on me but uh, we should get that sorted in the morning and i will be ready to go again right so this morning we're moving a few bales here with the 6480 um we have 19 bales on 19 bales of silage and to be fair she isn't really feeling it or struggling with it anyway there's colossal power in this tractor um i'd say it's definitely chipped or remapped or something like that i haven't seen a chip i don't think i gave it a look and i couldn't see it coming back to a tuning box or anything like that so it may be a remap she has but uh ah she doesn't shy back from it at all at all we've a uh, bit of a bit of a pull going home and this will be my second load out of here and the last time she really really didn't feel it either so very very impressive tractor so far very smooth in the road too and very very comfortable and um just an all-around really really nice tractor so i would set up for speed matching here as you can see and uh, that means we've absolutely no clutching we can change all our gears on our shuttle lever or with our t-bar if we uh, if we chose to do that so I'm going to um, head back with this load and once I have this dropped off I will be getting stuck back into the power harrow once again. Right so we're just back and it's just starting to get dark here um, and I just have one thing to show you because I fitted it and uh, I never kind of really came back to it but uh, the Bunny Michelin man on the side of the 6480 there one evening and um, we put a little red light into him as well so he lights up at night so just a nice little touch i think uh compliments the tractor a nice bit i have one of my roof lights that's low and i must fix that but um i just said it's worth showing it nice bit of the man there up in the wing right okay well uh quite a bit of cleaning went on on all of these parts and um we have a lot of them done now uh, ready for paint so that's what i'm going to start doing is i'm going to give these a whack of primer um it's very very cold tonight so i probably won't get a chance to put a top coat on them tonight but uh i'll give them a run of primer anyway this lead will need to be turned over uh maybe tomorrow and given a coat of primer on it kept an awful lot of wrap boxes off of um bales of silage wrap uh or sorry, rolls of silage wrap uh this year and um you know what i used to do was just literally take the plastic out of the top of the box pop the box back in and take them off here every night so i have a lot of them there and they're coming in very handy for this kind of thing uh, because the floor is dirty obviously from all the work that's going on so put them up in that and you have no dust coming up really onto your uh, paint so i'm going to get stuck into that it's going to be primer um and we'll show you a bit of the priming going on sure Thank <laughs> you. 
Right, so that's all that priming done. Everything here obviously is now primed. That gearbox must be checked over. That is one job that I keep slipping my head, but obviously I will think of it when it comes to it. And that needs a lick of paint also, but uh, I'll probably rip off that top cover, give a look in, see if all our bearings are good. Um, I know by the colour of the oil anyway, whether anything is starting to break up inside there or not. Uh, this bar must be cleaned off and painted. Obviously, I'm not going painting the crumbler roller, but the sides of it need to be um, cleaned off and painted also. And our front bar, to basically stop the throwing stones at the tractor, needs to be cleaned off and painted too. Um, all our scraper bars are cut off now, so they need to be... I'm going to have to get some steel... And we're going to make our own scraper set up for it. And uh, I'll probably get the steel tomorrow and we can start that debt. So uh, that's about it for this evening. I'm going to leave it alone for tonight. And we'll update you there tomorrow. Okay, so a bit more painting done. Uh, obviously, top coat putting it there. Um, unfortunately, I ordered some paint. Because this is slightly wrong. This is just, I got this made up in the, the local motor factors. Um, but it's ever it's slightly wrong. It's not the exact uh, color as you will see here There's a slight difference in it um, So I ordered some proper dolls with cream and that cream was It's totally wrong. It's uh, completely not a little wrong color So I'm gonna have to get some more mix uh, to give it all the flash when it's done again But uh, that is the end of the world so there's some of that now, once we get our gear can be bolted onto the top, our bed must be filled with grease uh, and, as well, and um, once we've that much done, we get that much done, hopefully early next week, and we can be making an attack at the rest of it. So uh, that's pretty much it for this week. Uh, look, thanks very much everyone who watches and gives us the feedback and uh, the comments. Uh, I don't always respond, but uh, I enjoy the reading it at the same time, so... Thanks basically everyone for the support on the channel so far. Um, we will, hopefully we'll have a few different things on over the Christmas and last year. So over Christmas I hope to, um, last year we done kind of history of how we come into this kind of work and how we started out and all that kind of stuff. But uh, hopefully over Christmas I will have uh, variations of stuff that um, from what's a throat year that hasn't been published yet. And I think we'll do an update uh, yard tour, a couple of people have mentioned it and uh, it seems to draw a lot of hit so we might uh, we might do a yard tour. Also we have uh, our Christmas tractor as well to get ready, it'll be on display outside the yard there for, uh, for the duration of the Christmas period so it might get stuck into that in the next day or two. So um, yeah that's pretty much it, uh, thank, as I say thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next week again.